All right, so let me show you guys. Uh, well, let me tell you guys how they try to manipulate me into um, not going to pick up my medication. So I put my phone in my pocket, right? I was um, recording you know, before I got on the bus. And I just took my phone in my pocket, went to press the record button, and I see that all these menus on my phone, like, what the heck is this? So, you know, on my phone, I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21. You know, it has a section where you, is there's the video, it says picture, video, and then it says more. So they uh, have more on there, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna explain to you guys why, because I want to get my medication as well. Okay. No, no, okay, man. All right, so. Um, so what it is is that again, how they all try to manipulate you into not. Uh, oh, that's too bad. I'm about to come back and I'll come back tomorrow. Or, or later on this afternoon. But um, what they what they what they try to do is again to manipulate you and use the first persuasion so that you don't go pick your medication, you don't go to the doctor, so they can continue to get away with these things, right? As long as you are going to the doctor, you know, to for the issues that that arise from your targeting, from being hit with direct energy weapons from uh, having been illegally implanted. That is a documented record that you have. They don't want you to have that. So they'll try to manipulate you to not go to the doctor or not go to a therapist or not going to uh, pick up your medication. All right? And so when you do that, see, they, they think, they thought that they had, a, <laughs> they believe, I should say, that um, they had conditioned me to the point where I'm not gonna go back to the doctor, I'm not gonna go get my medication. You know, I, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go get a therapist. And I'm still looking for a therapist, right? <laughs> but you know, I haven't really found one yet, right? And you know, I recently haven't really been looking, so, but I need to get back on doing that. So, and look, as soon as I got here, look, she's taking the hot change, she's gonna hot change. Now, this, this, woman, this woman has been here since I've been walking up, I've seen her there. But as soon as I walk past her, she just, First thing you hear, I heard, hope you got heard it right. She started shaking her change in her pocket. But she took it out, kind of in front of me. <laughs> right? Is you, and look, and she, see how she looked back at the direction of the pharmacy? No, she can't see what, she's not looking back for the buses. You can't see the where the buses Yeah, You have to go towards the street. But the fact that they'll do stuff like that to try to tell me, oh, if I, you know, go get my medication again, they'll do the homelessness thing, the whole thing. Okay, it's negative condition, negative condition. And when you see a lot of people engaging in such things, particularly, you know, behaving in some way that is negative towards them, that's, that's the reason why, all right? That's why you see a lot of these uh, single black women with children, you know, they've been conditioned to hate the men, all right? They have kids with men who they don't know, who they don't take the time to know, right? But because of what's going on in their head, in their mind, oh, I want this guy, or, you know, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to get pregnant by him, even though I don't really know him. You know, because they take being pregnant as, you know, it gives them attention, and then having a baby brings them more attention. But then when those children get older, five years, six years old, then they want absolutely nothing to do with them in terms of, uh, their education, their, their, their psychological development, you know, their uh, health-wise, all those things, right? Because they're not getting the attention they used to get, you know? But this is this is the mindset, and you see your social media, is the these women have been conditioned into always wanting attention, and always seeking attention, and also that, but always always seeking sexual gratification. They've, they've become so hypersexualized that they're sexualizing themselves and, and and each other, right? Not the men doing it this time, they can't blame the men, okay? But they're, they're the ones that's, that's sexualizing themselves and each other, you know? Every picture that they take, they're taking pictures of them, you know, turning around, showing their ass, okay? And this is also women in their 40s and 50s, right? So when I talk about the negative psychological condition, particularly in the black community, and also within us as targeted individuals, like I said, I, 
you know, when you look, whether you're a white TI, black TI, Hispanic TI, Asian TI, whatever, Arab TI, what does it, look at what black people, particularly black women, are posting on social media. And then look at the women within your own group and see, you know, you may have a few, but is it the vast majority, right? Whereas within the black community, is the vast majority of black women, whether they're from the age of, I would say from teenagers to all the way up to, to 55, okay? The vast majority of them are, are black women engaging in this sort of behavior. And it's negative because it gives them a bad uh, uh, representation of who they are to the rest of the world. And they don't see. So when they go to other countries and they get treated a certain way, and they wonder, well, why? <laughs> you know, why am I treated like this? I'm American, right? Because the image, you got to understand how powerful imagery is. And the perception is. And perception. And this is what the white supremacists have done very well. The white races, I should say, have done very well in getting us to become the stereotypes of who they say we are. And they did it through psychological conditioning and programming. And particularly, social media basically uh, was a, uh, a tool used, right, unlike any other, to brainwash a group of people, and particularly women of that group, in such a short space of time, right? And no one would, no one would even know. You know what I'm saying? But we know, you know, particularly Instagram, which is owned by Meta, of uh, you know, we know that they have engaged in psychological manipulation of their user base. We know this, right? Yeah, they have Mark Zuckerberg in front of Congress answering questions, but that's it. That's it. So I want you to understand how the government is giving the green light to these private uh, entities, these private corporations, to engage in this sort of psychological manipulation. But guess what? The U.S. government does it too. They psychologically manipulate the civilian population. All right, there's a thing called nudging, in which they use psychological manipulation to get the vast majority of people to think a certain way, or to think, or a large group of people to think a certain way, or behave a certain way. Because they say well, it's good for the country. So when they use this patriotic theme, they use uh, psychological conditioning to make you feel more patriotic, you know, they consider that to be acceptable. And it's a good thing, right? <laughs> so understand that, you know, the people that we're dealing with here. All right? Talk to you guys in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.